Good morning, everyone. John Chow here from johnchow.com. And today is Saturday. I'm here at the uh, Tesla supercharger station. You can see the Tesla behind me, they're being charged. Actually, you can see the Teslas over there being charged as well. Uh, this is the San Clemente outlet. There are 20 supercharger stations here. So it's only like five minutes from my house. But it makes sense to charge here instead of charging at home. <laughs> anyway, San Clemente Outlet is also the home of cars and coffee. Just up there. So that's where we're going. Hey, would you lead the way? Come on, let's go. This is a beautiful Grand Sport for a vet. Especially it's a Z06 without the supercharged motor. Perfect for the track. Nice Audi R8. It's for sale. $74,995 if you want it. <laughs> ah. Cars, dogs, and coffee. That's the official name of this place. Late arrival. Uh, any car is welcome at Cars and Coffee. Doesn't matter. If you're an exotic car or just a, a Ford Focus, you're welcome here. As long as you're a car enthusiast and you enjoy cars. This is the last generation Corvette ZR1. And uh, the new 7th generation ZR1 has been made. So this was the C6 generation. And the thing that distinguished it was, other than the chrome wheels, is that uh, that little plexiglass hood with the supercharger sticking out. Yeah, people thought that looked kind of strange. The, the new ZL1, the engine is so big, it sticks out for the engine, or sticks out for the hood. I'm using a different camera to uh, film this episode of Cars and Coffee. Instead of using my normal Sony RS100, I'm using my Sony A7R Mark II. Um, $4,000, but we'll see. What do you think of the difference? Do you like it? Not like it? Go back to Sony? Let me know. The biggest difference between this uh, camera and my the other Sony RX100 is the lens. I have a uh, super wide angle 10 to 18 lens on this A7R, so you'll be able to see me and a lot of the background. Yeah, so yeah, wide angle. Some like it, some don't. What do you think? There you go. Nothing separates a Corvette and his dog. Or maybe the dog just guarding this Corvette. Yeah, it's a guard dog. Okay, let's check out the Porsche Club. So we have a beautiful white GT3 with a, with a, with a pet wolf protecting it. <laughs> and then we have a run in the mill 911, a run in the mill convertible, and a, a really nice. Green Porsche. Yeah, I mean, I just go take it to the range. And, and uh, stuck in between, you got a Miata and a BMW. But, okay, back to the Corvette. Here's a beautiful black GT3. Also, a pet wolf protecting it. Actually, this must be the wolf pack or something. Here's a, a white GT3 with the pet wolf and a, and a convertible with, a, with the pet wolf as well. And here's a 935, in case you didn't know. There you go, 935. And another Audi R8 that is also for sale. Hmm, how come all the R8s are for sale suddenly? Ah, this is a beauty. Vintage Jaguar. And there's my Jaguar, the F-Type. V8 S. Beautiful Ferrari F430 Spider in black, murdered out. Here's the new Jaguar F Pace, the sports car slash SUV. I believe it has 550 horsepower. <laughs> it's, it's fast, but it's not as fast as my Tesla. A pair of Nissan GTRs. They look identical except for the wing. Check it out, check it out. Look at that, see? 
the one on this right, which is powered by Boost Logic. Oh man, probably has about a thousand horsepower. And here is a regular dry carbon wing, and the one on the left has this huge thing. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I'll take this one. But it looks like they're both uh, hopped up by Boost Logic. So uh, basically, who knows what they've done to it? But you're probably looking at a minimum of around seven, eight hundred horsepower, and over a thousand if they've really gone wild. It's a beautiful Jaguar F-Type V8R. It's got a nice red interior too, and uh, a glass roof, so you can see nice little glass roof. Ferrari 599. This uh, it's classic. The lines, everything. That's the front engine Ferrari, and then they kind of ruined it with the F12, and really ruined it with the 812. But of all the front engine Ferrari, this one is my favorite. Here's a classic Ferrari 458 Italia next to a Z06 Corvette. Ferrari in red, of course. Corvette in sinister black. Basically, if you want a good-looking car, you buy the Ferrari. If you want a higher-performance car, you buy the Corvette. Yeah, looks or speed. Hmm. Most people probably go for looks. Me, I prefer performance. Uh, that's a really cool pickup. Wow, those uh, those headlights can't be stock, or are they? Look, it's Eleanor. This is my favorite Z06 that's at the show. It's beautifully done. Customized wheels, the uh, white stripe on the carbon bits really adds to it. I think this is the original GTR from Nissan, right? Oh, well, it's a GT, I guess so. And look, it's right hand drive. <laughs> the steering wheel comes off. Five speed manual shifter, it's cool. <laughs> stripped out interior, or stripped out trunk anyway. Yeah, cool. A GTR Skyline. I mean, it's, it's like a midget compared to the new GTR. Oh my god. It's a Chevelle over 454. This is like muscle car royalty right here. Look at that. Oh my god. The bench seat. Awesome. And a Hertz shifter. There you go. This is how you keep the kids having fun when you're at the cars and coffee. <laughs> All you gotta do is just fill the fan with water and it'd be a pool. This is the first time i seen the hood we moved from this Chan Am 7. See, you just we move it completely. <laughs> well, yeah, I need to have I need to park somewhere where I can put the hood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I need to put something on top of it so it doesn't blow away. Oh, that light, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I would imagine. It's like six ounce hood. You know. oh, cool. No hinges to attach. You just take the whole hood off. Uh oh yeah. Well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah that. Attach it down there. Yeah. But, but not like a regular hood, but it just goes up on the you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. But yeah, it took me a long time to. To idiot proof it and to, uh, to get the hood to stop rattling around. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> stuff that we don't think about today, like a rattling hood, <laughs> takes them how long to fix. Oh well. <laughs> this is why I stick with new cars and not vintage cars. Yeah. The the repair and maintenance costs on some of these some of these vintage vehicles is oh my god. I'm also buy a new car. This is a new Jaguar F Type R SVR. Convertible. Nice. 570 horsepower, I believe. So a little more powerful than my one. Uh, it looks it looks more aggressive. I wouldn't say it looks better, but definitely more aggressive. What in the world? Oh my god, it's a Milano convertible SUV. Oh my god, this is awesome. Check it out. This is the first time I've seen, I've seen one of these. I mean it's it's a convertible SUV. That's the coolest thing. <laughs> I love it. 
I wonder how much it costs. <laughs> this looks like a vintage Corvette, but it's actually based on a C6. So it's a it's an old body, but using new modern modern setup. So there you go. The C6 interior being guarded by a cat. Sally's favorite Mustang, the shifting color Celine. It changes color depending on how you look at it, from mauve to blue to purple. Really cool. And here we have the personal ride of the organizer of this cars and coffee, the Bracketeer. Uh, his Camaro has a supercharged motor using a Whipple supercharger. <laughs> really nice. It's got nice wheel. He basically did a good job customizing his ride. He's been featured in, as you can see, quite a few magazines. Porsche GT3, Ford GT, McLaren 720S, my favorite supercar. Magnum PI's Ferrari, the 328. If Magnum PI were alive today, he'll be driving this thing. Lamborghini Huracan. As Frank Sinatra would say, you buy a Ferrari when you want to look like somebody. You buy a Lamborghini when you are somebody. Here's the new Acura NSX. It has, it has great specs and everything, but it took so long to make that when it finally shipped, nobody wanted it. <laughs> uh, they were like $200,000 when they were first introduced, but now you can pick them up for like one thirty-five, dollars Kind of like a bargain supercar. Porsche 928. What was can probably considered the best car ever made during this time. Unfortunately, nobody bought it. Yeah, this so. is an actual Gambala, 2001. Uh, 2001 Gambala, yeah. It's a, actually, it was a 996 twin turbo, the special edition. Yeah. And Gambala put a kit on it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then they took it apart and, and put a new kit, their new version of a Gambala kit. Go, go look at the back end. All right, let's take a look. So, uh, I thought Gambella wasn't he arrested for something, and then he yeah, he, no, he's, he's dead now. He's dead now. Yes, he was some drug deal or whatever. Yeah, his son took over. <laughs> All right, so you got a seven. I think it's seven hundred fifty horsepower twin turbo motor. This is a seven hundred fifty. There was a six hundred fifty. Wow, nice, nice. And you imported this thing directly from Germany three months ago. I actually I bid on it in two thousand sixteen. Uh huh. It took a year to get it here. Yeah. Oh wow. Here. It was disassembled. Uh -huh. Then I had GMG put it together yeah. and another mechanic put it all together for me. Um, the engine, the drivetrain, everything is all Gambala. Wow. Beautiful. Great. Yeah. That's awesome. And inside, what's your name again? David. David. All right. So David here is the owner of this beautiful machine. And I, lo I love this. The, uh, see the air inlet goes in there. And then the big cuts yeah. out here to for the to cool the intercoolers. It's a bi turbo, so yeah. they're, they're yeah. parallel. Yeah. Parallel and, turbos. Uh, and you got a manual six speed. Yeah. There you go. And how many miles you had on this thing? Well, it's brand new. It's brand new, brand new. Yeah. So, yeah. wow. Now, what's unique about this 914? It's electric. Check it out. Here's the batteries. Uh-huh. Yeah. So let's take a look at here. So it still has a Porsche interior and more batteries. And I, I guess the motor is in there somewhere. Motor is in there somewhere. But it is for sale. 100% electric. It has, yeah, 1973 Porsche 914. So if you want a want an electric Porsche, there we go. And because it's electric, look at that. You can use it on the carpool lane all by yourself. It wouldn't be a cars and coffee without a Scooby-Doo van. And in this case, a Scooby-Doo van pickup. Punch buggy. Where's Sally? I want to punch her. You get an idea how small this thing really is when it's sitting next to a punch buggy. But uh, yeah, this is a... Actually, this one looks pretty impressive. But it's so small. It's like a toy. I believe this is a custom 1964 Buick Riviera Coupe. It's uh, been lower, customized 
paint job with, with flames and pinstripes. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. But like I said previously, you know, the maintenance and repairs on, on these vintage vehicles, I, I can't imagine. <laughs> now this I would not mind driving around in. It's a Sunbeam convertible. I figure it's made during World War II or something like that. Yeah. Wow, you got the nice modern energizer battery. <laughs> Sorry. Looks like a single barrel carburetor as well. Yes, back then they used carburetors. There was no such thing as fuel injection. Check out the interior. You got the, uh, the rear view mirror on the dash and what they call free on the tree. Free on the tree right here. Basically, there's your shifter. It's not on the floor, it's on the, on the tree. Love the speedometer. Beautifully restored vintage Camaro. That looks so much better than the new Camaro. And I try to do the retro look. Well, this is what the retro look is based on. Oh, I smell that high octane gas. <laughs> there is no revving at Cars and Coffee, so that's why you don't hear the Ferrari in exhaust note. All right, so uh, I think that's it for this episode of uh, Cars and Coffee, Falcon Lifestyle Vlog. A lot of people starting to clear out now. We're coming toward the end. But if you wish to check out Cars and Coffee, it's every Saturday here at the San Clemente Outlet from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, you want to show off your car, bring it. If you, don't want, if you just want to check it out, come check it out. It's a lot of fun. The event is family friendly and you can bring your dog as well. So yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Welcome your feedback. Leave it down below. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. What the? Orange County Tesla owners. I guess that's one way to advertise. <laughs>